Hey guys, what's going on? So the beta has officially ended. Um, also in the news, we have the stress test that was supposed to be on July the 25th is now postponed. Um, doesn't change anything about the launch day, but that stress test has been confirmed to be postponed, which is kind of a bummer, but that means obviously that they are making changes or, uh, you know, aren't ready to handle quite as many people as they thought they were at the beginning. So however you want to take that, um, that's, that's the news. Uh, today we're going to talk about cat and bear form leveling. Um, I know a lot of people in the past have asked me why when I'm leveling up, I never train any uh, bear form abilities and also why I never use bear form. Um, and in this video, I'll kind of briefly go over, you know, the, the pros and cons of cat form and bear form and then why I only level with cat form. Um, and for all the people out there that are wondering, I am using uh, a level 40 character in the beta. So it's completely official classic um, with the uh, classic values and everything like that. And we're using at level 40, we're using dire bear form. So it's the upgraded bear form. You're getting the 360% armor value and everything. So um, this is pretty much the best time to test it. And this would be people's, uh, what the, the time that someone would kind of argue, you know, you should be using bear form. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, more mitigation does not mean less damage. And what I mean by that is if you have a huge amount of uh, physical damage mitigation and dodge in bear form, that does not necessarily mean that you are going to take less damage than you would in cat form for that fight. What I mean by that is, yes, you will take less damage in bear form. However, the fight will drag on much longer. And by the time you have killed the, the mob, a lot of times the amount of damage you've taken is somewhat consistent with the amount of damage you've taken in cat form. Uh, that being said, uh, killing something very quickly, but you take a lot of damage is oftentimes what we're looking for when leveling because we just want everything to be fast. Now, obviously, you'd want to try and find a middle ground if you were a, a class that couldn't um, heal themselves. So say you had a class where you could kill a mob in 20 seconds, or you could take a more defensive approach with stun lock, say for a rogue, and you could kill a mob in 40 seconds, and you take significantly less damage. That might be the right approach for you since there's less downtime for eating between pulls. However, as a druid, between pulls, if you're low health, you can pop out and heal yourself and instantly go back into cat form, saving yourself all that time that you needed to eat and drink. So that is why having the fastest possible fight, aka being in cat form, is oftentimes the best use of your time. Now, another class that you could look at to kind of gain some similarities here would be a warrior. Now, warriors are known to be a slow leveler, uh, mainly because they don't have self heals and they don't have very many good defensive abilities for dealing with multiple mobs coming in. However, when you look at warrior levelers, you hardly ever see anyone leveling as prot or you hardly ever see anyone playing as prot unless they're doing dungeons. Um, and even in dungeons, a lot of times you have warriors that will go well like if it's a five man they'll opt to just put on a, a shield uh, and they're still you know f fury or arms uh, that being said the big reason this is is because again if you are a prot warrior and you're taking you know two minutes to kill a mob yes you take less damage but you would have killed that mob in maybe 40 seconds as arms or as fury and you would have you would have taken more damage However, the fight lasted so much less time that the damage ramp up um, that you take is is still kind of comparable for that two minute fight. You know, uh, the armor and the mitigation that you're getting is nice, but if the fight drags on for so long, then obviously that is where the issue lies. Now, the next point of topic is other druid specs. Say you're not feral and you are restoration or you are balance. Wouldn't it be better for you to go to bear form since you don't really have that much attack power and you don't have those specific talents that are going to help you out in cat form? Uh, this is not the case. I did 
multiple tests with uh, myself being restoration and it's the same the same thing uh, throughout and actually what it does is it goes to show you how much uh, your talent points as on a resto druid or you know say a feral druid or something like that how little that really matters to your kill speed when you have decent gear uh, gear is a huge portion of a druid's toolkit which is what is so cool about a druid um, just switching out gear can really make you um, much more effective in in certain forms or in terms of healing and things like that. So as you can see with my resto, uh, when I am resto and I'm testing this cat form and bear form, um, you know, leveling sp speed, you can see that like my damage and my kill time is not actually that much worse than it was when I was feral. Uh, so that goes to show you that druid talent points, while they can be nice, the, the gear is really, really what matters. Okay. I now want to talk about what if you were specifically bear form spec. And by that, I mean you're feral. However, you put most of your points into things that help out your damage in bear form. I'm not talking about threat because we're talking about this in terms of uh, a solo play environment. But if you pick up talent, the talent that uh, when you crit with a bear form ability, you get five rage, uh, things like that. Thick hide for a little bit more damage mitigation. Um, these kind of talents, if you were to pick up those, how does that affect you with your kill speed as bear? And again, with my tests, I still see that even if you are um, specs into improved bear abilities and you know damage mitigation and things like that, it is still better to be out in the world in cat form than it is to be in bear form. Okay, now another one that I've gotten questions on is what if you plan to level with a friend? Now, this one to me is a little bit more up in the air because it really depends on who you're playing with. However, majority of the time I'd still stay in cat form. The, the thing you have to realize about on a druid is you're, it's so impactful to be able to switch out of form and heal. Uh, so it's almost always better to just be in cat form, even if you're taking increased damage. Um, obviously, if it's like an elite or something like that and tanking is your best option, then go that route. However, for the most part, if you're just out leveling with a, you know, a duo or a trio leveling group, it's almost always best to just stay in cat form. And then what you can do is pop out and heal yourself. Now, the only times I would ever stay in bear form would be something like you need to hold threat on a mob, um, maybe you have a rogue that you're playing with who's, you know, backstab spec and needs to stay behind the the, the enemy and can't have threat. Um, something like that might be a case where you stay in bear form. But for the most part, like I said, your kill speed is really what matters while leveling. And you know, when you look at these these number breakdowns uh, on these timed kills, you know, you're saying, oh well, there's you know, 10 seconds here, 20 seconds there, 30 seconds there. Uh, on on kill times that's not a huge deal you know we're talking about you know a few seconds here and there but the point is throughout your entire leveling process uh, when you look at all of this and it's broken down into the big picture that really adds up all that time that you're spending you know, in bear form really really adds up and it is one of the reasons why uh, druids can have an extremely fast leveling time it's because they, one, they get to places very, very easily. So in, in between quests, their travel time is very low. Their kill time in cat form is pretty nice, but you do take damage, right? That is one issue. However, the fact that you can shift out and heal yourself and get right back into the fight is what makes Druid so strong. So if you're not utilizing this by staying in cat form, you're going to really be killing yourself in terms of your leveling time. So that's just some food for thought, guys. I hope this breakdown kind of helps you uh, visualize and see, uh, you know, how impactful it is to do more damage to a mob. Because I was always, especially when you see me pulling like two mobs, I was always under the impression too when I was first playing a druid a while ago, um, you know, oh, I have this big beefy bear form. Um, you know, I have two mobs on me. I need to, you know, tank these guys now. However, as you can see, if they're not elites and you're just out in the world questing, it's almost always better just stay cat form, you know, chunk the mobs down, kill them quick. You can always pop out and heal yourself if you need to. 
and then go back into form and just finish them off out. Okay. Now, I believe that cat form leveling is far superior. I, I hope that I showed you um, in this in these clips and kind of my explanation why that is. That being said, guys, if you love bear form and that's like the main reason you're playing druid, by all means, man, you know, go around and smack people uh, in bear form and just play that way. Uh, at the end of the day, the leveling speed is is significantly different. However, if that's just really the way you like to play, go for it. Uh, and like I've explained, bear form is still extremely useful, okay? Although you won't use it that much while leveling if you're trying to do things optimally, once you hit 60, you're in bear form more than you're in cat form, uh, unless you're in a dungeon and you're DPSing. Uh, outside of a dungeon, if you're in PvP, you almost always leave cat form as soon as a fight begins. Uh, you just don't have the sustain to stay in cat form. Um, so you'll be spending tons of time in bear form. If you're tanking dungeons, you're obviously going to be spending time in bear form. Uh, bear form is definitely a great ability. Uh, I just don't believe that it's very good while leveling. So I hope that kind of uh, solidifies the question between cat form versus bear form and hopefully you guys know now that it's best to just try and stay uh, cat form as much as possible um, now you will spike lower on health with cat form and that's why as a tauren i love war stomp because i can always pop pop out and heal myself up um, but yeah guys that being said hope this video was educational hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you have any other questions and i will see you in the next one also, thank you to my Patreon supporters and welcome Zorvek and Wizball, the newest Patreon supporters.